Hey guys, just a quick little intro. I just wanted to make sure you know I didn't specify a PPM for uh, what you should use because that's really dependent on where your plants are in their life cycle, in their stage of growth. Uh, so I didn't put that out there on purpose. Usually your pH, you do want it between 5.5 and 6.5. Different plants may be different, but that, that is a good rule of thumb for just generalization. But yeah, for PPM uh, or EC, you're gonna wanna look that up for your specific application. Other than that, Here's the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day. Bye. A container. A drill. A circular drill. An air pump. Air hose. Three inch neck cups. Something to grow your, your plugs in. Spray paint. And optionally, zip ties, fittings, and one way valve. And distilled water. And also, nutrients. Last but not least, need a plant or a cutting with roots. So here you've got everything you need. The first thing you want to do is soak your air stone. This is a much larger air stone than I'll be using, so don't use this one. Use a much smaller one. You'll see uh, the size I use. First step is to take the box. You're going to drill a hole either here or here or any, anywhere along the line really at the top of the container where it meets the lid. So I'm going to drill right here. Next up, you're going to take this guy. So you're going to drill one here, one here, or you could do here, 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 or you could do here, 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 and get four. It's up to you. I got two. Boom. Good to go. All right. Next up, you're going to wash your, con wash your container well, and then spray paint it with a spray paint of your choice. Make sure you do it outside. Once it's all dry, boom, we've got our box. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And there's a hole. Next thing you want to do is put your airstone in your container. Obviously, this is way too big. It's not going to work. But pretend I'm using the smaller, smaller airstone. So next up are these tools. You get your, contain your fittings with suction cups, one-way valves, Zip ties to put to zip tie around the nozzles and your tubing to set up to the air stone. What I'm gonna do is have my air pump on top like this and have the air go from there to that hole we made there. And then I'll use the fittings. Here the air stone here. Next up is gonna be your nutrients and distilled water. Once you've mixed all your nutrients together, you're going to want to test your, uh, your water. You test your pH, and you're going to also want to test your PPM. All right, so now that that's all set up, we're just going to pretend that I already washed this. Uh, so we're going to put some in after it's already been soaking. About there, maybe. Maybe a little less. About halfway. Just place that right in there. And then gently fill them in. And boom, we're good. Now I can just swap that out right there with this guy and this one's good to go and I can give this one to someone else and it's super easy to swap if you want to just drill three holes and swap the three this is how easy it is oops I almost killed that one Boom, now I have three. Oh, and we can test our water. We got our, our water meter, turn it on, we're on PPM. So I'm gonna test the PPM first.
It's uh, 460. That's okay. That's not bad. Might need to put some more nutrients in. And pH is 6.5. 6.4. So I could bring it down a little bit if I wanted to. Um, I probably won't adjust it until the next time I add nutrients or change the water. Or, I mean, uh, yeah, if I add nutrients, maybe I'll do that. But other than that, it looks good. And let's say maybe I want four plants. Boom, I got four. Easy. Just set it to the side. Take the plants. Boom. Now I've got four. It's as easy as that. And it makes changing your water out simple too because you can just take the plants off. You can just take the plants off like this. Dump the water. I'll just have this in another another uh, container, dump the water, then dump that out, and you're good.